Let, let's try it. If that's the approach, then cotangent x will look at as cosine x over sine x. This sine x stays. Cosecant x will write it as 1 over sine x. Okay, let's multiply the top and bottom by sine x and see what happens. So sine x here, and also let's multiply sine x here. We are looking at cosine x on the top over sine square x. And then this and that is just 1. Huh, much better. Because now we can just take a u sub, let u equal sine x. Just sine x, not the square though, because when we take the derivative of this, we get precisely du equal cosine x dx, which is that. So therefore, we are integrating 1 over u squared plus 1 in the u world. So we get inverse tangent of u, and the u is sine x. Yeah, so that's it. Well done. Good. Number 19, I prefer something very special for you guys. The over 2 power right here is like the radical, right, the square root. And inside we have x squared plus 1, so that's two, use, that's two tricks up. And because this is sum of two squares, so I will take tangent for that, and it's just 1. So I will put x to be tangent theta, dx will be secant square theta d theta. So we are going to get the integral of 1 over tangent theta, and then we square that, and then plus 1, and then we take this to the 3 half power. dx is that, secant square theta d theta. Check this out. Tangent square plus 1 is secant square, and that will cancel with this. So on the bottom, we actually just get secant to the third power theta. And of course, we can cancel the two of them out. So we're just going to get 1 over secant theta. 1 over secant theta is just very nicely equal to cosine theta. So integrating cosine theta in the theta world, guess what? This is just going to be positive sine theta. But we're not done yet because we have to go back to the we have to go back to the x world. We have sine theta. Theta is what though? Look at this. We know x equals tangent theta. It means that x, it means that theta equals inverse tangent of x. So I can write this as sine of inverse tangent of x. How pretty is this? This and that. Yep, I did this on purpose. But of course, usually I wouldn't leave the answer like this because this is super intimidating when we have sine of an inverse trig function inside. So usually we don't want that. So the way to take care of this is that we will just, again, draw a right triangle. Tangent theta is equal to x, which is the same as x over 1. So draw a right triangle, x over 1. And the hypotenuse is right here, which is square root of 1 square plus x square. And we do the sign for that. So this right here is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, x over square root of 1 plus x square plus c. This is the answer that we usually provide. But earlier we had inverse tangent of sine x. So of course, right here, I put down sine of inverse tangent of x. And you might be wondering, can we do the same thing um, for this? Like draw a right triangle or that? Uh, not really. We can only do this when we have a regular trig function on the outside, and the inside is an inverse trig function. And you can draw a right triangle, and you can figure out the ratio of the sides. But this right here, just leave it like that. <laughs>